Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Melon DS as well as RetroArch. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo DS emulation on Windows, Mac, Linux, and Android with Melon DS. I absolutely love their logo. Melon DS just had a pretty big update. They're now on version 0.9.4. And yes, Melon DS is now drastic powered. So to keep things at a relatively high level here, let's go over a couple of the big things from this update. The first one is in DS mode, Melon DS no longer requires you to obtain BIOS and firmware files. This is pretty huge. They're now using Drastic's BIOS, which why I said it's drastic powered. Uh, you can change this if you want. You can supply your own if you want, but most people will probably be pretty happy just using the Drastic BIOS. Now on a side note here, I had no idea that the Drastic BIOS files were open source. Apparently they have been for some time. I confirmed this with a Drastic developer and yes, everything is okay there. In fact, Drastic actually plans on going open source sometime in the future. On the flip side though, using the Drastic BIOS isn't a catch-all for everything. For example, in DSi mode on Melon, you still have to provide your own BIOS firmware and man dumps. They are working on a way around this, but for now you do have to provide your own stuff. Another big thing they've added here, and I would argue a huge quality of life improvement, is the ability to add custom paths for your save states, saves, and cheats files. So if you want to keep everything nice, neat, and tidy in one location, you absolutely can. To take advantage of this new feature, when you're in Melon DS, click Config here and then go to Path Settings. And from here, you can specify where you want your stuff saved. In my opinion, this will come in handy for a number of different reasons, especially if you're just trying to back things up. Now, for those of you who use the unofficial port of Melon DS on Android, it's currently on version 0.93. It has not been updated just yet. It was last updated in November. I'm assuming this one will get bumped up to 0.94 sometime soon. Moving on now, and we're talking about RetroArch. Yesterday, we talked about RetroArch's latest update, and today they've launched a few new cores, five to be exact. We have A5200 here, which is an optimized Atari 5200 emulator based on Atari 80202, which was originally developed for the GCW0. This means we've got an incredibly efficient core here that should run on a bunch of different hardware. WASM4 is a core designed to play games that were built with WebAssembly. Very low level games, but some of them can be pretty fun. Arduis is a new Libretro core for the Ardu Boy. The Ardu Boy is a tiny little credit card gaming device. If you haven't seen it yet, you might want to check it out. It's pretty neat. The Ardu Boy can play over 200 games. Nothing overly crazy, but little games that can be fun in short bursts. Jump and bump which is a standalone core used for playing Jump and Bump. It's a DOS game that's now open source. You can get this game if you go into the content downloader in the new version of RetroArch. And last up here, we've got Same CDI, which is a core used to play games from the CDI. This core is a fork of a fork, so if you don't want to use MAME to play CDI games, and if you don't like the MAME core in RetroArch, they now have this Same CDI core. In terms of performance, it's not going to be better than the other two cores, but it might be a little bit easier to set up. That's the whole point of this. So if you want to play something like Zelda The Wand of Gamelon, I don't know why you would want to, but you can if you want using same CDI. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was the update to Melon, now powered by Drastic, per se or even the RetroArch new course, just let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.